connecting PTC140 cameras to vMix is a simple operation. But before we get into vMix, please make sure you've accomplished the steps in our BB1 control and camera setup videos located in the links of the description of this video. Let's verify that we can connect to the remote cameras from the control or local side of the BB1 DB Cloud workflow. So with the camera connected at the control side, log into DB Cloud and find the remote IP addresses of your cameras. You can find that by going to Hardware, then BB1 Devices. Click the remote BB1 node and see the camera list shown. If we copy and paste these IP addresses in another browser tab, we should be able to see each camera's admin login screen. Likewise, we should be able to control the cameras using a software or hardware controller. If this is all working properly, then it's time to go to the next step. If you can't see the camera's login screen, then there's a good chance that your laptop isn't connected to the same switch or router that your BB1 is connected to. Check out the setup videos mentioned earlier to make sure you've got everything connected as they should be. Now open vMix and at the bottom left of the screen, click on add input. On the pop-up screen, select stream slash SRT and we're going to choose SRT caller. For the host name, let's copy the remote IP address from DB Cloud and paste it here. So this is for the first camera and here's the first remote IP. We can click this button to copy it. Then we go back into vMix, right click in host name and select paste. Now for the port, we can use the default camera port of 9000. If you're using a PTC140, that's the default port. If you're not sure what port your camera is using or you know you've changed your port, you can find it by logging into the camera using the remote IP address and finding the info there. Now in vMix, click on OK. This adds that camera as one of the input sources for your vMix software. Repeat these steps for all your remote cameras. In this example, we've got one more camera, so we're going to go to Add Input, Stream slash SRT. Stream type is going to be SRT Caller, and we'll find the host name IP address of that second camera. In DB Cloud, we see PTC 140 number two, and here's the remote IP address for that camera. So we'll click here to copy it. And then we'll go back into vMix and paste that IP here under hostname. Once again, for the port, we're gonna change it to the camera's default port of 9000. And then we'll click on OK. Now back in vMix, we can see that we've added the second camera here as an input. Switching and using your remote data video cameras is the same as using any local camera in vMix. Clicking your input loads it into the preview window. Then you can click on cut or you can click on fade to make that input live. And now to stream your program output to one of your DB Cloud channels, all that needs to be done is to enter your channel settings into the external outputs area of vMix. This assumes that your DV Cloud channel is already set up and ready to go. So to make sure, let's go back into DV Cloud and we've got one channel set up here and we can see that this power button is on. So that means it's ready to receive a stream. If it's not, make sure to watch our video on that. And once that's ready, we can go back into vMix and click on the gear next to external right here. Then we can click on output slash NDI slash SRT settings. Then we can click the gear right here. And in the pop-up, the first thing we're gonna do is click enable SRT. Set the type to caller, which it already is by default. And then we're gonna copy and paste the host name and port of your channel from DB Cloud into this area. 
So to do that, let's go back to DV Cloud and we'll click this channel. And if we scroll down a tiny bit, we'll see the IP address and the port right here. So we'll start by copying the IP by clicking this and we'll just remember that the port is 5032. If we go back into vMix, we'll paste the IP address here and the port here, which is 5032. Then if we click on OK here and OK here, we'll notice at the top SRT is red, which means our SRT output stream has started. If we go to DB Cloud, we go back one step, we can see by this red square that this channel is receiving the stream from vMix. Back on vMix, if we click on this gear next to external on SRT, if we click this stream, which says enabled, we can see that the SRT square has disappeared from this area, indicating that the SRT stream is off. Also, if we go to DB Cloud, this area here is no longer red. To start the stream back up again, all we have to do is go back to vMix, click the gear, go to SRT here, and click the stream. Once again, the red SRT square has appeared here at the top. And in DB Cloud, we see that this square here is red.